Well, I always keep my laptop in this bag, but this morning it was gone. Nine times out of ten in a case like this, it's a stalker. Whoever jimmied the lock didn't know what they were doing. I concur. This was a real hack job. Hi. Mark Devereaux. He plays Detective Cole Tracker on the show. Yeah, he does. And if I know Cole Tracker, the next thing you're going to say is... So, so what's, what's it going to be? be? Rock, Rock, paper, scissors, scissors, or gun? You watch the show. I like that. So get me up to speed. Who's been in here since the incident? What's he doing? Oh, I think he must be one of those actors who has to stay in character all the time. I heard Dustin Hoffman did this on the set of Tootsie and everyone hated it. Oh, no. He just thinks he's a detective because he's been playing one for 15 years. I can hear you. Uh, look at the time. Well, they need you on the set, Cassie. I'll, I'll walk you over. Ooh. Has anyone noticed this crumb? You might want to bag that. It's in the boys at the lab. Well, what have we here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't touch that. Isn't this the case the laptop was in? Yes, but in real life, when we handle evidence, we got to wear gloves. Never wear gloves on the show. The fans will love to see my fingers. Almost as much as they love seeing my feet. Google it. No. Check it out. Devereaux gave me his card and said, call me if you can think of anything else. Just like on the show. Does he know we're the real cops? I don't think so. Hey, uh, guys. You know, you two have a really compelling dynamic. Would you ever consider being consulting producers for the show? Absolutely. What does that mean? Well, we pay you to come in in your off hours, talk to the writers, tell them your stories, lend the show a little authenticity. Wow, I can't believe I've been talking to people for free all these years like an idiot. Great. I'll run it by the studio. He's going to run it by the studio, Rosa. I told you, if you're good cops, you do your job, things will work out, and they do. I don't know, man. Something's weird. I think that job offer's bogus. He's trying to buy us off. Look, I don't know about you, but I can't be bought off. And it's going to take a hell of a lot more than some job offer to make me compromise the integrity of the badge. Hey, Jake, catering sent over some chicken fingers. Oh. I really don't think anyone in the crew would have done it. We're like a family. Yes, and as someone who's about to marry into that family, so to speak, I tend to agree with you, Sarah. It seems highly unlikely anyone from the crew or producers would be involved. Hey, Sarah, what's the status on the toilet seat heater for my trailer? It's day four of cold butt cheeks going on over here. I'm sorry, but this is official police business. You putting the screws to work? I got this. Sarah, you're a PA. What do you make a year? Two, three hundred thousand dollars? Thirty. Thirty hundred thousand dollars a year? Thirty thousand. Oh, ooh. And yet Cassie Sinclair pulls down millions sitting on her butt while you bust your hump running her errands. I bet that makes you angry. Angry enough to steal her laptop? My gut says yes. OK, that's enough. You're right. He's not going to talk. Sometimes I wonder why I do this job. You don't. OK. What about the executive producer, Gary Lormax? Do you know where he was on the night of the robbery? He's normally in his office after wrap. Although, last night, he did ask me to tell him when Cassie left her trailer. Hmm. Interesting. Or completely useless. No way to know for sure. Sarah, one more question. Those donuts, are they? They're all free. OK. 